Welcome to this month's School of Calisthenics news. Tim, we said last week... Uh, don't start. No, but you, we ha you were in the hoodie, I had that. Yeah, but you... You're not, you're not... You I'm not having this. You stitched me up no, this month. No, no. Uh, Wait, not turn, now. The turn the camera off, turn the camera not off. Not now, David. Come back. Dave. Were you going to... What? Are you going to do it properly? What do you mean properly? Well, you don't... Everyone knows, <laughs> newsreaders, it doesn't matter what you wear on your bottom half. Because they don't ever see higher. Unless, of course, you storm off and everyone sees your Unless pants. Unless you have a tantrum. Yeah. Do you want these back? Yeah. It's just, it's just the names of the, the graduates. We're celebrating the graduates. Let's celebrate. Okay, um, I've, just, I've got the lads. Are you, are you ready, lads? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Is this on? Can I, is it? Are we? Are we on? Are we in? Hello, mate. Hold on, no, no, lads. Oh. Give us two minutes. Two minutes, please. Just roll with it. Wing it. <laughs> Wing it. Yep. Those two handsome blokes. Yeah, you're ready. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Tim Bay. So to take us through this month's graduates, over to our field team, Tim and David. On the, the, the cam camera two. Yeah. Sounds like it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Domestic. You lads all right? Back in the studio. I don't think they are. Let's get on with this week's. Let's let's get yeah. We 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 are ready. We are ready. All right, Jack. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us on this month's graduates. April graduates, 2019. It's been a fantastic month. The eight, the month of April. I think we're starting with a handstand. <laughs> it's starting. If this is a ring handstand. I'm not doing anymore. Zip. We've yeah. arrived. We're yet to. It's not, but it's equally as good. Um, I, a couple of, well, 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 we'll roll it through. Matt Murphy. Matt Murphy. Oh. Get through the rings. Oh, nice. <laughs> good. <laughs> High five. So take them off. Goes again. Pay close attention to exhibit A. <laughs> Looking on. Fan. And... Him, who was supposed to be working over here, but now this is what happens when you, it's like boom. Look at him. Oh, and he's playing. <laughs> the kid. Yeah. He liked that. That was good. So, real smooth, real simple. Do you know what? I'm not messing about. But everyone's watching me. Exactly. And that's that's just what happens when you start doing cool stuff in the gym. When you start really finding impossible. It's, it encourages other people to think about. Do you know what? Maybe I could do that because exactly. you're also a normal bloke, and I've got bigger biceps than you. Perhaps I'll have a go. So, and that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. Um, we're gonna. We've got, there's a. Few, there's a few ring muscles. I think but you'll start to see that uh, people, if they're listening for the first time, or you've just not been into it for too long, the ring muscle up is far more achievable than you think, and hence why there's a little bit more of those. Can I just point out that the, what you've done here is you've added an Instagram handle. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. This is it. That's that. Yeah. Sorry. His he was his birth certificate doesn't have his Instagram handle. <laughs> his actual name is Evan. Randby, come on then, and roll uh, the VT. This is, I think, the longest straps for rings graduation that we've had. And actually, on a serious note, the length of the strap is going to increase yep. the instability. So, tool from the locker that we use. So, that's actually there's a little bit going on. But if you've got a good control and a ring muscle up, yep. long straps shouldn't cause too many problems. The, well, it depends on how you set up. So, if you are leaning back slightly, as you'll see, the rings will you'll you'll swing. The mo so now there's added difficulty of dealing with moving rings. You know, like this. We're in. Well, and <laughs> now, and I see, we nailed it. I love that. Oh, and almost... see that instability, see the ring shaking. Well, the dips are fun. See, this bit now is getting a little bit sketchy. At that point where you're swinging backwards and forwards. Yeah. We had to, main, had to control the body movement of the ring actually moving with you. Yeah, um, just a little bit of a rewind. That yeah. initial starting point where he drops in and goes, oh, I want to see the start of it again. Where he swings in. Yeah. The I don't zone. know if he knew that that was necessarily going to happen. This is brilliant. It's almost like the, the bar must up set up position. But the kit, like, yeah, so it's just faith. for people, like, set yourself up right underneath because as soon as he steps off that box and it's that box a little bit too far behind, that swing, the rings move forward. But he's off. Doesn't I think that's, I yeah, think that's making good. that a ton harder. So 
Excellent work, Randy or yeah. Evan. Um, I like your, I like, I like that name. It's a strong name, Evan Randby. It's like in a climbing sense or something. Some yeah. uh, climbing stuff. There. Right, uh, next one. He sent a nice message with it around the videos. Having he's been following our stuff around. Good work, uh, Evan. Well graduated. Helping Solid. Ah, uh, Matt Gill. Ledge. Uh, virtual classroom student. Yes, official. Now he may or may not do a tad of yoga. See if you can notice a twinge of yoga towards the end. Is there some flair? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's there is some serious control. So Matt Gill. Your time to shine, oh, my friend. Look at that, that I like. Yeah. That, they're keeping the hips high, locked out the toes. shoulders. Boom. Nice line. Well, the stability. All day. All day. Look at but that. We talked with a video re- this week where we talked about don't fall down. Control yourself down. Here he comes. Here we go. All right, Matt, you've passed. <laughs> Come on. Crack on. Yeah, but now, now, now we're getting strong on the way down. Good. Very good. 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 Control, arms oh, stay straight. That, Look at where, yeah. That's yoga. Look, that's wait, yoga. That is, but wait, it, there's more. Da, 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 da. Forward, forward. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. That deserves a big 10. Styling it out. Hang on a minute. Yeah, now, now we're going in. So, Matt, brilliant. Yeah. That control and that, really tidy. I like that a lot. So well done. Showing off hamstring range yeah why not if you got it flaunt it excellent now the, um, what's going next so is from school of slow, t-shirt from yes definitely you did see a snippet of that redefine impossible you've got yours on today um the going from slow and controlled of frog to handstand we need to go slow so we don't lose our balance on the bar muscle up we need to go fast and explosive to get above the bar and uh, this one is let's just get the name adriana yeah um, I'm not going to have a go at this surname. Um, Scorecast and t shirt, plus point. That actually, Bang. makes you 5% stronger. She's part of the process. Nice bit of bling on the left arm as well. <laughs> it's good. Um, oh, and, oh, hello. Yeah, well, that's, this ceiling. is the other thing I thought as well of going, how many times do people, you know, not do something because they don't think they, they would come for excuse? Well, you know, it's not the perfect uh, position, but. The speed she's coming through at um, with I mean, that blue band, like it's going to be very soon to um, to get rid of that blue band. Drop down to a, a lighter one. Boom. Lovely line, body wrap. Past At the least the board. ceiling. If we talk a bit, no, we won't get to motor learning too much, but having a task focused outcome at yeah. the end of a movement actually helps the brain to compute what it's supposed to do yes. rather than like intricacies of I need to extend my elbow and move my wrist position if you just go give a task give the body and the brain a task to focus on so this one actually it's probably not ideal but don't hit your head on the ceiling it's yeah, going to well, get you over the bar yes that's what I was, as you were saying I was thinking that actually if she comes on that line at the beginning like here good setup yeah nice setup and then as we come up and we get to this point got to get over. above the sternum She's now thinking about going forward, so she's not going to hit the ceiling, and that's actually helping with that motion into the for that transition. If you had ceiling tiles, when I was working with the guys in Manchester for the Paris swimming, <laughs> we actually took the ceiling tiles out so we could get above the bar in a similar situation. So where there's a will, there is a way, David. Yes. And that is, and uh, it's nice to see the uh, part of the process along the journey to redefine our impossible. Yeah. And Those uh, are wins for some people, just in yeah. a bar muscle up with a band. So for some people, I could never do that. And once you've, can. And once you've, once you've done that first one, it's then up to you. How much do you, do you want to be able to do with a smaller band, no band at all? It's, that is then it becomes your decision. But you're moving in a new way. Owen Beardshaw. Oh, Owen, yes. Owen's got some, some strength yeah, in the design, band. And I like, the thing I liked about this one was like the, the edgy sort of, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but the camera through the mirror to record yes. it. Hat on. Yeah. Strong boy. Moves well. Um, come on, been Owen. On, been on, did he come to the seminar or workshop? Workshop and oh, easy. He's, he's done strength and play, yeah. and he's done a progressions workshop as well. Look at that. The what? only thing I'll go there, awesome on the way up, and I don't know if he's a trying to or not, but just you can see when he comes back down, just something to bear in mind if you want to go second reps with your ring muscle up, you have to maintain the false grip. You can see as he drops in, there's just a little bit of that wrist just changes position and the second rep would have been quite difficult but he might have been only going for one yeah but that's why that, that lowering phase and actually controlling that elbow position as you come back in let's just see if we can go slow mo left calf looks great down. as well yeah 
bit tight. <laughs> so dropping in, looking under control, and it's this bit where you can just like try to stop yourself from falling because you can see as he hits that bottom position there on the right hand side. This bit it's going to be difficult to get a second rep in because the hand has just slipped underneath, and that all comes from just decelerating the elbow nicely and really cranking to false grip. More false grip strength, a little bit of eccentric control to drop the elbows in, set you up for the second rep. Yeah. Then it's playtime. Um, and my the thing that has been a hot topic recently that you've been talking about strength in abundance. Like we've we've met Owen in person, and the boy he's a strong boy, he's a strong lad, and just learning the false grip and the transition actually then made ring muscle up super quick for him to learn because he had the pulling strength and the dipping strength and he can control the ring. So just never forget to get strong. Right, next. Good work, Owen. Well graduated. We're going to see him again, I reckon. Oh, he's going again. It's another one, Dave. Um, I don't know. Let, let play it. Yeah, play no, I think it. he does, yeah. So he resets the false grip now. Oh, he's working for that one. He's pushing because it... The closer you keep the rings, the better. Like during that transition, he had them far out. I'm still mesmerized by that left calf. Nice. Yeah. Another ring must up, Simone. Right, we're on. Boom. Now, the yep. difference of how close he kept the rings as he went through there. Look at that. And that turnout at the top. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. A little artistic style. And also, what is good about this, I saw this one when it came through. Rings bolted into the ceiling with some hooks. Do that. But I've also been in a gym in Brazil when we were there for the, for the Paralympics. So they thought that's a good idea. We're going to strap the, uh -huh. the bolts. Someone got on them, slightly awesome. closer to 90 kilos. Rings came out. <laughs> so, 10 days out yeah, from the Paralympics. Sure. Could have been a disaster. Have you... Have you have things installed by a nice little home gym. There's some space. Got a pull-up so, bar on the wall. Fire when it yeah. gets cold. Um, and it just highlights in the corner. Him, that point around. Look how if he goes thumbs to chest, keeps the ring super tight as he pushes through. They never get as far away from his body at all. Keeps him super tight on that dip. Nice turn out of the top. Happy with that. And same, th same thing about controlling down. If you want to do two reps, uh, exactly Now, same I met this gentleman yesterday. Yeah, we both time. did, didn't we? Oh, well, nah. Ruben. Yeah, now I met him at the met workshop. Um, I left Lovely chap. At the workshop, he'd done, he'd done like a super controlled, like a uh, false grip pull up. And, uh, and I set him the challenge, I think in front of everyone saying, two weeks and you're going to do your first actual ring muscle. And this was two and a half weeks later. Um, Proper start position, super oh, deep. Oh, nice. Works on, hard push. through the transition. Real nice. I think he said he ended up doing, he went from zero that day to then doing like five. The thing that I was interested ones. in context is when I was speaking to Ruben yesterday and we we're chatting about um, what happens after you've learned a new skill. So he's actually now, he's, he's nailed it got a couple of reps in the bank and has actually found it quite difficult since to get back through. And we were talking about this, uh, this, this principle of if we get a skill for the first time, it's important that we go back and then we reiterate and we re ingrain it. So I've done the same thing with handstand pushups recently. Ruben needs to do the same thing. But the thing that's going to make that ring muscle up that we would talk about super easy is if he goes to the park and gets some strength because he now knows the movement pattern of the transition just comes down to how fresh are you? How much strength have you got? How much, right? usable strength have you got from how much fatigue you've got in the system or whatever but the strength is there you know how to do it it's going to happen it's literally a much easier process but if you are learning something for the first time just spend a couple of weeks yeah. after you've done it don't i've done it before and gone i'm excited i'm moving on to something more difficult come back a week later i can't do what i just got excited about next good work ruben yeah. Look at that swagger. He's like, yeah. No, no, he's like, not, not into his mate. Like, yeah, anybody yeah, watching? I this. I this. No one? Yeah, just... Right, sorry. I just went to the phone <laughs> um, Fit you dot fitness Instagram. Uh, bar muscle up. Looks confident. He goes in the taxi. Checks hard. the camera. Hit the line. Woof. Through. And he gets, there's, there's, some, there's some good things that we can talk about, like technique wise, to try and make like he's working super hard there and there's a couple of things we can touch on to try and make this easier or you can leave it there for a second actually yeah. oh. so that yeah at that point there of um sometimes talk about truck and trailer with the muscle up yeah. because like I, he's yeah like so there is but he's, he's in a straight position 
Go we could go. Then. We could go a little bit more shoulder extension yeah. here, or flexion. Sorry, so we could actually try and get a straighter line, and that's going to reduce the necessary um, the kip that's going to come after us. But I was actually talking to someone about this yesterday, and the importance of a string muscle versus a kip inversion, and it all comes down to can you connect the pulling power at the top? Have you got enough here to be able to bring this bit with you? So can you pull mm -hmm. with the shoulders to make sure that we've got enough? Uh, force to get higher because if you can keep that connected and then we don't need to um if we if we can if we've got enough power to keep everything connected and move in a straight line the kip is really a way of creating some momentum and if you haven't got enough strength it's a solution to try and get you above the bar yeah. by creating some momentum from the midsection however if you are strong enough and you've sort of taught yourself how to pull explosively with a straight body line you don't need to do it yeah. and that's the difference really you'll find a lot of people that can kip a muscle up a million miles away from doing it strict for yeah. that reason so like he's trying to, he creates a, a straight line and say we can be further through, past mm. the bar, chest past the bar, so more shoulder flexion. But as he pulls with the arms, then we lose the legs behind us. Yeah. And now we've got like legs moving back, but chest trying to go up. And so as you say, too much, there's quite a bit of stuff going on. As we come through, we've even got like a, got a can, tuck, yeah. and the hip is hiked up on his, as we look at it right, his left. And Watch then, what happens here. Left yeah. shoulder goes nice. I think he's on the second row. The right shoulder's a little bit We're working now. hard through that transition because we're just, the higher we get in that transition, the easier it's going to be. Let me go back. I think it was maybe like, see it on that first one. Just there. Yeah. yeah. We talked about so this. I'd be interested twisting. to know. I mean, it's, the t it's on that same side. Yeah. Whether, whether left or right-handed, potentially we have a, we often find that people are sort of more confident moving from speed on their right arm if they're right arm dominant. So for me, I've been throwing a ball for many years with my right shoulder. If I try and throw my left shoulder, it's not as effective. One, I don't have as much control, but secondly, because it's just not used to firing at speed. So often we find that people will go one side dominant on a, on a bar muscle because that's where they're just used to not nearly, they're just better at creating force or speed at least. Um, so that's when the band comes in really helpful. It'd be a great progression actually for you to use the band on this because it's yeah. going to force you to keep a straight body yeah. line. And it's also going to give you that assistance so you can train speed with control. So when you come up to the top of your transition, you've just got a little bit of weight taken off, which means you can fire both arms at the same time. That's going to get you above the bar a little bit cleaner and tidy up that, that section. But on a positive, you've got above the bar for the first time. The second thing to add to that as a caveat is always focus if you can of learning great technique from the beginning because it's much easier to learn correctly from the beginning to a certain degree than it is to try and change an existing movement pattern that you don't like rough yeah. numbers people say thousand reps to, to learn a new movement i think that's probably take that with a pinch of salt but the the, the um, essence is correct five thousand to change an existing movement pattern yeah. we see people come on workshops right all the time yeah. they're from crossfit we teach them a strict muscle up and they just can't break yeah. the movement pattern yeah. which they've learned it gets difficult um, you see there, like he's got that, he has got that full shoulder flexion. He's then just teaching the body, so like yeah. some hollow rocks and some and some dish work to try and maintain body alignment. And then just, it's, again, again, I said brute strength in abundance. Like mm. if we're just a monster at pulling straight, it's going to be easy to bring your legs with you rather than them trying to find some um, momentum for you. But I hope that helps. That's a good one for a lot of people working on their their muscle ups. And I think the big, just one big thing to say is that. The whole thing about like not sort of one shoulder going to the other is really just protection and like just making sure we don't get that shoulder that goes on its own or the one left behind in a difficult position where we might potentially get some shoulder issues. So yes, we want it to look nice and we want it to be nice and, and clean and smooth as we go through. But part of that is because it's going to be better for your shoulders and you're not going to get injured. That position, pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a dance move. It's not nice. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Let's just enjoy these again. Yeah. It's like a nice little gym. Like three together. Yeah, it's good. And the first one you ever do is never the prettiest. Dave, a fellow Dave, likes a one. Likes a one. One Dave, one S1. Um, ring muscle up, gets false grip. Oh, have a, no, wasn't happy with it. Boom. Nice. Here we go. Which was a really good point, actually. Like he wanted to go at first and then. Um, just wanted to make an, like the, the key of it, if you haven't got false grip, you are, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So the fact that he took his time to readjust that and make sure he's happy with his false grip before going is one of the reasons why that was a successful ring muscle up. Good work, one day, one S. Simple one. one. Good job. Boom, go for a second. A little puff at the top. Yeah. Nice. 
Looks happy with that. Yeah, exactly. So, so, yeah, stop, stop the clock. It's time in the middle. Well. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, hang on. This a was a big one. This one was shared. There's a on story social, behind this one. Yeah. So, do you want to tell the story, Dave? Um, well, the, the, there's a long story. I don't know. But I'll, I'll tell Keep you short. part of the story. Give us the condensed um, version. So, Jem, um, been following, went to one of our first ever workshops, I think down in Swindon, um, probably, yeah, close to maybe two, three years ago right when we started and has been doing various things. One thing she did do was come on the retreat and I wrote her a personalized program as part of that for the ring muscle up. It just took her a little while to put it into practice. Play the same thing. Oh, I, thought, yeah, I, thought you I have, I want story. to enjoy it. Okay. So one of the things for, that Gemma has been working on, we talked specifically about getting strong in ranges and the interesting thing for her, and she went, mind me saying, is that she, oh, yeah. um, she knew what she needed to do. It was just a matter of stringing the work together. But we've been, um, with Jem's uh, muscle up, we've been sort of encouraging her as well to start to believe that it was going to happen. Yeah. We'd seen her a couple of times um, at workshops and at the retreat and gone, do you know what, you're, you're strong enough, you've got it. You've just got to do that piece of linking it together. And there's, I remember writing a message on, on Instagram and just going, you know, when you start pulling, you have to expect that you're going to move through the rings. Yeah. It's the same thing that we would do if someone's got a, a PB on a deadlift, you can't walk up to the bar going, crikey, that looks a bit heavy. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift that. The same applies with these power-based movements for particularly muscle-ups. You have to believe that you're going to move through the rings and give yourself the confidence to do it. But we love this one. This is a <laughs> massive moment for us because like, Jen would definitely have had that in her impossible box for a long time. She's yeah. been fighting with it for a long time. Um, and we know how much that means to her. And she's yeah, a massive inspiration, Jen, to the community as well. She's got two girls, um, and they're just doing awesome following their, their mom in terms of learning to move and challenging themselves. And there's other people now just seeing Jem do a first ring muscle up. And I love that one. And she's very help. happy to see And that. maintain false grip on the way back down. Um, and just, she, yeah, she, sorry, my last point. Yeah. Um, testament of just putting in the work and understanding that it takes some time. Yeah, and everyone, that, how long that takes is different for everyone based on a whole host of different things. Um, one thing on the belief and why this is so important that... Um, we have the platform to showcase what everybody is doing. Jem, probably six months ago, doing, um, doing it with a thin, rin, uh, thin red band. And, and we had this conversation about believing it was actually going to happen. And she wanted to believe, but she didn't actually like believe, believe. And then recently, there's been a few other people, just like her, um, Amy, um, Jess Merlo, that had been on the, on the podcast and, and showcased some of the stuff that you guys and girls have been doing. And I think it was that for her gave her the belief when she saw someone just like her do the ring muscle. And, and they were in, I remember seeing messages on a comment saying, right, Jem, you're next. Yeah, and Amy, yeah. like it, encouraging each other. So it really does change the game for some of us. It reminds me of when Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile and then all of a sudden a week later, everyone else has done it. So when you, when, if it's you take inspiration or if you then become that person, you then become the inspiration and it just snowballs from there so it's this it was nice to end on this one because it's one of the it showcases exactly why it's so important that we are showcasing what everyone is doing and supporting each other through that because when you see someone else just like you it's going to help you to mentally redefine your impossible then physically your job is to go out there then do it just last little point before we hand back to the studio <laughs> um look this studio guys <laughs> hopefully they've calmed it down sorting themselves yeah. out just because we sort of showcase ring muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups, handstands, frog handstands, even if you're working on something which you would seem to be of a lower level skill, whether it's your first pull-up, we're not bothered. We are literally interested in things that you think um, are worthy of a graduation and that that's personal to you. So if it's your first pull-up and you literally thought six months, 12 months ago yeah. that you would never do a pull-up and now you've done one, that is just as important and as valuable as somebody doing something like a ring muscle-up. So please don't feel like you can't send what you might think to be an unworthy um, graduation. We want to celebrate all the small successes because that is a huge yeah. step on the road to doing these well, high level skills. And we've all been there. Like we know that these small yeah. wins are important. So send your videos in, let's celebrate everybody's successes and encourage everyone else to move forward together. That's very, very Arguably, cool. a, your first pull up is like from zero to a pull up, whereas yeah. a muscle up is an extension of a pull up. So I'd almost argue that a pull-up is uh, when you can't when you do that for the first time, it's actually probably a bigger yeah. impossible or feel like a bigger impossible. Excellent work, guys. Love so, the graduations. I think nothing else uh, to say down here. Uh, back up to the guys in the studio if they're ready. You ready, guys?
So that was a selection. I mean, I can see everything in yeah, 3D. Yeah, yeah, we can't get them off. So that was a selection of this month's graduates. And did we, they do well? They did. They did really they did well. Very well. And uh, we, we we love celebrating what you guys are doing and girls out there redefining your impossible. And it's uh, always a pleasure for us at the end of the month to showcase a variety of people doing a variety of different things at different stages within their calisthenics journey. So if you want to get on the School of Calisthenics news show will be showcasing to send us your graduation footage. There are details of how to do that on the website. And if you don't mind being celebrated, critiqued and encouraged in the only way that we know how, send them in and you might feature on next month's graduation news. So until next week, class dismissed.